All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new, new video on East Coast Manga. So today we're actually gonna be doing another manga shopping vlog, but this one is obviously gonna be in person and I will have some B-roll of the uh, comic slash manga store that we go to. This one is one where it's all new manga, all, you know, brand new, never read manga. Uh, this is full price, so there's no discounts or anything, unfortunately, I wish there was, but the selection that this store has, in my opinion, is unbeatable. It's, in terms of in-print manga, I don't think I could find a store that has more variety and more manga, uh, especially not around here. So this store is Comicopia. It's in uh, Boston, Massachusetts. I know a lot of people asked where the other store was um, and I told a lot of people, but I forgot to put it in the video. Uh, and yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna buy yet. I'm hoping they have Dora Hedora. They had the full set last time I came and I know it's definitely not out of print, but I know it is not in stock for most places and a lot of people are charging like crazy prices for it even though it's not out of print yet it's just like severely back ordered because of how popular it got especially with the anime but other than that i'm not 100 percent sure there's a bunch of titles i want i don't like paying retail for manga but when it comes to stores i don't mind it as much just because not only are you supporting the industry the manga code the publishing company you're also supporting the store and you're putting you know food on the table for small businesses which i'm a you know big fan of so i, I definitely am going to pick some stuff up but that's enough rambling let's uh let's get right into the store All right, welcome back guys. So like I said, that store had a crazy inventory. I mean, it's just shelves and shelves of manga, you know, brand new uh, for the most part, except for some series, which, you know, people come in and they buy, they don't have the time to restock it yet. The store owner really takes pride in making sure that he has, you know, all the volumes or at least consecutive volumes. So if people want to come in and they don't want to just buy, you know, random volumes for a series, they want to buy, you know, maybe one through 10 or one through five or one through three, it's going to be available there now like i said that's not for every single series because people you know people maybe came in earlier today or yesterday but uh, he tries to keep up to date as much as possible and i did pick up a couple things from the store so uh let's get right into that so like i mentioned i did overpay only because i paid retail and i don't like paying retail you know every once in a while i do and i have paid a ton in retail uh when i first started picking up series like my hero academia the promised neverland like both of those are probably over 
around 30 volumes and I paid retail for all of those for the most part. So trust me, I have spent a lot of money paying retail for manga and I just, I'm not a huge fan of it these days. I like to get my manga for $4 or under. So as you know, I like my manga used. I don't mind that, but it is good to support the industry. And like I said, support small business. So I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I have a video coming out or hopefully it's already come out. I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up compared to when the other video is gonna go up, uh, but I'm just gonna get right into it. So we have made in the, uh, we have made an abyss volumes four, uh, five, six, and seven. So I do own one through three and uh, I'll show you guys. So I do own volumes one through three and I do have a pretty strong opinion about certain things that are thrown into this manga that absolutely have no place being thrown into this manga. But the story and, but the story and the concept are really, really interesting. And that's what really is the big conflict with this manga. Like I said, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Some of you guys really dislike the manga for justified reasons. I have my own issues with it. I, Like I said, I have a video coming out, uh, my impression in the first three volumes. I do have a serious problem with this manga, but it is really, really interesting and really, really captivating in its story and concept that have nothing to do with the, you know, one or two panels throughout the manga. So if you don't want to pick up the manga because of the nudity issues, I completely respect that and completely understand that. Um, but I am still going to move forward. Like I said, it's only usually one or two panels. It does, um, it is gross and I don't think it should be in there, but I'm hoping moving forward, there isn't too much in there. Uh, next we have Beastars volume seven. I already have one through, th uh, one through six. I've already read through them. I re I'm really enjoying Beastars. Honestly, I know Japan's like way ahead of us, but I really don't mind these. I think these are coming out at a relatively good pace. Uh, unlike other manga that's just coming out like, you know, a couple times a year. I really don't mind just kind of pacing myself uh, throughout this manga. And then lastly, we have another manga which I have already talked about before. And I think I've already released a video on it specifically, but I'm really, I really, really enjoyed the volume one of this manga. So we have Ajin, Demi Human, volume two, three, and four. So like I mentioned, I really, really enjoyed that first volume and the issue, so the issue with Ajin is it is overpriced and there is a difference between like Amazon pricing and just straight retail, but it's only like a dollar and change off. So I don't know. I mean, sometimes, so for like big series, expensive series, I may just go on Amazon or write stuff because you can legitimately save, you know, 10, 15, $20 on some of those volumes. Like, um, you know, if you were to buy the Berserk volume or Helsing or even just things like Planetess or, you know, just the, the bigger Viz volumes, uh, you can save a lot of money by not paying re like, you know, just your straight up retail. But with stuff like this, I don't mind every once in a while going out and paying full, you know, box price for these. It's not something I do, you know, a lot, but it's also really, really, really awesome to be able to shop in person at a store that has that much manga. Um, it really is a privilege because a lot of people don't have stores, even at retail price, that have that much manga. Now, I wish I had half price books around me, but I don't. Uh, so, you know, you kind of give one for the other, I guess. That's gonna be it for this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, leave it down in the comments. I would love to, uh, you know, hear you guys' reaction. You know, I don't know, Massachusetts, you know, Massachusetts has a lot of stores. So I don't know how many are like the one, you know, I've only been to these two in terms of comic stores. I don't know co other comic stores and how much stuff they have, you know, or I could even do something like this at Newbury Comics I sometimes go to. But uh, yeah, if you wanna see more stuff like this, just let me know, even Barnes and Nobles. Um, I could definitely make some more videos and, and yeah, that's gonna be it. So I will uh, catch you guys later.